You did a speedy job on that puzzle, which is only right because doll's porpoises are fast cetacean swimmers. Hard. Great job! Sperm whales are among the deepest divers. You've got to dive deep to catch a giant squid. You got it! Narwhals are known for their long horns, but usually only male narwhals have them. Come back soon to Cetacean Rotation. Get ready for a We're off to where whales abide, outside. Big is much too small a word to describe the blue whale. It's enormous, bigger than any animal alive today. It's one of the largest animals ever. Look at the way those teeth fit together. No way I'll ever be an orca dentist. A giant squid may be a tempting meal for a sperm whale, but it's a meal the whale will have to fight for. Lots of sperm whales have the scars to prove it. Humpback whales are the acrobats of the sea. It's easy to spot them because of their long, white flippers that look like wings. out that gray whale. It's spy hopping. That's when a whale pokes its head out of the water to see what's happening. I think it's getting a good look at us. And that gives us a chance to get a good look at it, too. There are lots of creatures that take free rides on the backs of whales, like these barnacles and whale lice. To my research, there are some marine mammals that are not cetaceans. Take the California sea lion, which has to keep a sharp lookout to avoid being eaten. Plankton is like a floating pasture, only instead of horses and cows, it's whales and fish that are grazing. When a whale breathes out from its blowhole, it's called spouting. That gray whale spout has a lot of heart. Dolphins try to avoid sharks, but a shark that threatens a baby dolphin can get into trouble if the mother dolphin uses her snout as a battering ram. Whales gobble up herring that swim in schools near the surface of the water. In our school, we like to gobble up peanut butter and jelly. A whale breathes in air through a nostril called a blowhole on the top of its head. When the whale breathes out, the blowhole spray the misty cloud high up into the air. That spout is nothing to sneeze at. Carlos. According to my research, whales can hold their breath underwater much longer than we can. Even longer than I can hold my breath in the car when we drive through a tunnel? A lot longer, Carlos. Sperm whales can stay underwater for an hour or longer. Whales and dolphins live in the water, but they aren't fish. According to my research, they are mammals, just like you and me and dogs, and cats, and lions, and tigers, and elephants. A whale breathes in air through a nostril. Does anyone know how you can tell how heavy a whale is? You put it on a scale? Close, Phoebes. 
you take it to the railway station. Carlos. There are two kinds of whales. Those with teeth like an orca and baleen whales like a humpback. Baleen whales scoop up plankton and fish and then filter out the water. No strain, no gain. Baleen whales like this bowhead use big, hairy-looking filters to strain the water out of their food. No wonder their scientific name comes from the Greek word for mustache. My Uncle Beardsley strains his soup the same way. Does anyone know how you can tell? There are two kinds of whales. Flippers are kind of like human hands. Whales use flippers to steer through the water and to stop. Whales use their dorsal fins on their backs to steer through the water and keep their balance. Whale researchers keep track of individual whales, like this humpback whale, by taking photographs of their tail flukes. Each tail marking is unique, like a fingerprint. Flippers are... Many whales live in family groups called pods. If trouble threatens, sperm whales make a circle with the baby whale safely inside. Whales have everything they need to succeed at life in the ocean. Flippers to steer with, tails to push with, and streamlined bodies that glide through the water. A long time ago, the ancestors of these whales were furry, four-legged creatures that lived on land and hunted in the sea. It took millions of years for them to become the whales we know today. Welcome to Bring Back the Beluga, where your mission is to return this little whale safely to its family pod. Move the whale by clicking in front of it or using the arrow keys. Help this little guy to keep its energy up by collecting food along the way. Watch out for predators and hazards. You can make the game easier or harder by clicking the levels button. Now go ahead and bring this beluga home. I know you can do it. Hard. Nice job. Magnificent maneuvering. Way to go!
you gave it a great try. See you again next time. Welcome to Spot That Whale. Take a close look at the whale up in front. Then click all the other whales that look just the same. To make the game easier or harder, click the Levels button. Good luck! Firm Whale. Hard. Humpback Whale. Body. The hard level is history. Do you want to play the game again? Goodbye for now. I'll be spotting you soon. Are you ready to quit? Come back soon.